Okay, so what I have here are two notes running in VMware on a MacBook Pro. Snow Leopard, recent release. See the date right now, September 11th. Nice day to be flying. Um, four gigs of memory, basic notebook. And what I'm about to attempt is an installation of Rack 11 GR2 released only about a week ago. So let's just prove some stuff. See here, clearly, we're dealing with VMware. No tricks. Give myself a little bit more screen real estate. Let the desk resize. Your Apple Universal Installer has been improved greatly. Um, the look and feel is a little bit better. Uh, very clear on the sidebar here, the steps that, uh, that are coming up. We'll go next. Notice that we can install CRS on a standalone server as well. So that's kind of neat. 11GR2 does represent a very large upgrade from R1. I probably look like a nut talking that way. Can I get you something to drink? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just get a club soda. Did you want lemon and ice or? No. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do an advanced installation. One language is good. Give the cluster a name. And uh, we are not going to configure GNS. I will prepare this for another demonstration, uh, possibly two weeks after Open World. Alright, so the node on which I'm running this obviously is one of the nodes we'll be adding to the cluster. We'll add uh, a second node. Of course, is a bit. Next. Hopefully, all the prerequisites have been set up by your friendly sysadmin. Looks good. So, that's actually a nice touch. Uh, Oracle has decided to actually give us some feedback while we're uh, testing SSH. So, instead of just dying with a cryptic error message, we're actually getting some useful information. We'll set up my Nix. Go next. Passing up booze for you guys. Ah, actually, let me go back here. We're going to place the OCR and the voting discs on ACM. That's, or sorry, on ASM. ACM would be an organization. That's a really good cool feature, so this is all new. Because I know everybody in the floor cabin here. And uh, we'll add these four discs. Just verify that I'm using external because I really don't care about redundancy. Not for now. Of course, has a password, and yes, it's not a good password. We're not going to use IPMI, but this is a neat feature too. So now a last surviving node or a surviving node has the ability to shoot other nodes in the head. IPMI is a hardware uh, hardware standard, I guess you might say. It allows uh, network device to you know, effectively control the power and other, other hardware features of another node. So by setting this up and configuring uh, a BMC, which is well beyond the scope of this tutorial, uh, we can actually configure the cluster to shoot other nodes in the head. So this is a really, really nice touch because if we need to fence off a node, instead of waiting for that other node to commit suicide, we can actually go and shoot it. So, effectively killing that node off. Now, this is the basic stuff. Again, you should know this from 11GR1. Nothing's really changed there. This is nice. Very, very nice touch. So, you're probably thinking this came from my environment variables, but 
on the whole. No environment variables. So this is all the defaults. We're actually installing this outside of the base, which is a Oracle recommended practice. And actually, as far as I know, they won't support it anyhow. If you follow this, so there you go. Again, note the uh, feedback. Very, very nice feedback. First product we're installing. So there's our inventory. And here comes the big test. Has the resistant been done his job properly? I'll note right now that the prerequisite tests include checking NTP. So we actually verified that network time protocol has been configured properly on this server. It is actually pointing to a shared NTP source. So that's pretty cool. Oracle's done a really good job with this release. And there we go, everything passed. We're ready to go. Alright, so now let's hurry up and wait. Okay, so now it's time to run the root strips. Move this aside for your benefit. So you saw that? Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the seatbelt sign. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. Mesdames et messieurs, le commandant vient d'allumer la consigne de ceinture. Si vous pouvez retourner à votre siège et prenez votre ceinture, merci.